What's up guys? It's your boy Aki checking in here with another video. Today I just got a fresh cut. It's Sunday morning. And uh that's besides the fact. But um what I'm doing is is I'm not at work yet. I gotta work, be at work at one. But what I'm doing right now is I'm actually delivering two pieces of mail. Or not mail. I call these notes. This is a, a little hack that I have in terms of not really being able to find uh, certain people um, just using the skip tracing tools finding these people and um, it's actually coming up with two different addresses so what I'm gonna do is I made these little notes here on the dash. made these little de uh, notes here I'm gonna drop them off at both addresses um, knock on the door first um, and then ultimately um, just you know try to get some uh basically i want a yes or a no in terms of what's going to happen with the property that i saw when i was driving for dollars a couple weeks ago um because i know if i continue to um um uh, you know just sit on this lead um i already have interest on uh one uh on one person that's on the deed but i basically just need interest on the other person's uh, side basically it's it's one of those situations where the siblings aren't getting along or they haven't talked to each other in a while and I talked to one of the sisters and she was uh she's really open to selling you know they uh, it's it's a lead that um, just has a bunch of problems with it the, the house just uh, is really an eyesore in the neighborhood and um, there's a bunch of deals like this out there to where even if I could do something like uh, buy out the interest on one sister's part then you know I uh, I will become partial owner and at that point um, that would give me a lot more leverage in the deal but you know this is a deal that has um, uh, the, the, the deal is paid for and has a you know it's a, it has 100% equity and um, now at this point we just have to look and see you know whether it is worth pursuing or not and that kind of thing takes title work you know just to see if there's any liens on it because uh, a mother did pass away um, about about 10 11 years ago and um, you know uh, just medical bills and things like that really can uh, add up quickly and then kill a deal so there this uh, deal is actually in a very popular neighborhood I'd be very surprised if there was no problems with it but you know not I'm at the point to where I really don't get excited over uh, deals anymore just because um, not not that I've done so many deals that you know um, it's not that big a deal for me anymore it's just that in this business there's so many ebbs and flows and things like that to where if you let one particular deal you know raise your emotions um, and then you have things like title work like literally um, there's a point last summer where I let something like that happen where you know I had like uh, four or five deals in the pipeline and then you know only one of them ended up closing because of you know, title issues or liens on a property or just a bunch of different things that can really mess up a deal uh, came about on each one and you know I, I based my uh, I'm not gonna say my worth, but my my swag and my my confidence and my you know overall happiness um, towards getting these things done because um, you know just because you know um, I put a lot of effort and time into finding these deals and things like that, but um, you know uh, only one of them, one of them ended up actually being a pretty big. Uh, that was one of the hotels I did last year. It ended up being a $20,000 uh, profit, um, $40,000 total between me and another person, uh, me and a partner. But yeah, um, I'm looking at a deal right now that I just passed that um, I didn't end up working out for me. Um, um, but, you know, um, you should move on to the next one. You continue to market, you continue to, uh, you know, call people up and see if they want want to sell and you know ultimately um the odds are in your favor the more fish lines you have out there um never stick to just one one source of marketing or anything like that so that's all i really got for this one just letting you guys know what i'm up to on this sunday dropping off some notes being a little being uh uh just a little productive today today's sunday typically 
the day where it's um it's uh um you know a little bit more chill for me but just uh taking taking one baby step at a time towards my goals and um you know going after them so i hope you're doing the same even though it's sunday um we'll talk later peace